Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I have... Uh, I've been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself, but I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned. I felt, I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cub, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear, and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then, I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time, and the Nordnir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. 